More upgrades for your Imperial Knights. Spiking bits. Welcome back, Comic Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we are taking a look at some really cool upgrades from Legio Models. Uh, they sent over a big box of uh, upgrades for pretty much any flavor, Imperial Knight, Baby Knight, Big Knight, all the knights uh, that you would want. And I kind of picked through and I want to show you some of my favorites uh, that I think are pretty dope. And we'll check out their website. So, you know, if one of them tickles your hobby pickle, you can always go over there and, uh, and scoop them up. But just keep in mind, they are shipping out of Russia and everything is really, really slow right now. So here's their website if you want to check it out. It's just legiomodels.com. They've got all sorts of stuff in here. Uh, it is in US dollar currency. Now shipping is going to be about 25 bucks a kit, but keep in mind, I can't ship anything for between eight ounces and a pound for less than 25 bucks to the UK. So I can only imagine, well, I can actually probably imagine how much these kits actually weigh to ship just one from Russia all the way over here to the States. So it, it seems like a lot up front, but when you start thinking about it, you're like, wait a minute, maybe that's not that bad. Okay. And just remember, everything is super slow right now as far as shipping wise all across, across the globe. It's just, it's just silly. It's, it's a whole thing. Anyways, you can easily navigate depending on what you're looking for. You're looking for bad guy upgrades, good guy upgrades, baby knights, big knights. Um, and then this is just basically the normal knights right here. So today we're gonna look at some loyalist stuff, which I already had it pulled up because I wanted to, this kit's pretty cool. I think we showed you the first version of this uh, maybe a year or so ago, but they're still 75 bucks for these kits. They're 25 bucks for the armager kits. They're a hundred bucks for the big uh, Dominus class kind of kits, which, you know, again, boutique, you know, cast resin designed by an independent company. It, the price is what it is, and I don't feel like it's exorbitant, but I can see where there's a little bit of sticker shock at first. So they kind of go through like, hey, what you get? You get that, you get the head, and which in this case is a night mask, depending on which other uh, loyalist, you know, maybe type deal you're, you're gonna look for. It might be something different. Shoulder pads, uh, in this case, it has the ion shield, of course, um, different weapon plates, a chest plate, a cod piece, <laughs> cock armor. Uh, then it's got, what is this, tassels? I don't know what that is. Uh, knight, greave, and knee armor plates. What's the tassels? I don't know what the tassels is. Anyways, whatever. It's all the stuff in this picture here. And these shoulder pads are absolutely ridiculous, and I love them because they just went, they just knocked that one out of the park. They're like, you know what? We're just gonna go full grim dark. But there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here too. Like if you wanna just kinda look through it, like there's a loyalist is kinda like the bigger category on everything. So there's the first dark monk, the version two, dragon armor, wolf armor, and we got some wolf armor here, uh, sisters armor, then they've got upgrade claws and different things for uh, some of the sets, Inqui inquisition armor, gray armor, I haven't even seen half of these. And then it goes into the little stuff. So that's basically it on that side let's take a look at some of these kits i got some put together and we got some still in the box and i'll show you a couple of my favorites so just as an example this is uh the sister i think their second sister style kit they did uh for the middle size night we'll say middle size night and I, I like I like the styling on this one better than the first one, to be quite honest. They went back and they really kind of uh, knocked that out of the park, in, in my opinion, right here. So first you got the carapace, and all the carapaces um, are pretty much full scale for the most part. You can see there's a lot of detail work in here, not just from the iconography, but also from the filigree and like all the stuff that they just kind of went over the top and just really went in there and kind of went nuts with it from the lattice work and, and different things to even the paneling. It's it, This is a nice, solid piece of resin. Like it's not a low quality resin it's probably maybe a, a just a step below like say something like forge rolled resin that you might be um, used to kind of working with so it might feel a little bit different to you but I don't I don't I don't think it's, it detracts to it at all from uh, from the actual you know quality of the uh, of the cast or anything like that. The shoulder pads are great. I really like how they kind of crossed it. Uh, the sisters sort of uh, feel with almost Wonder Woman to be quite honest. I mean it's very pop culture, which I kind of dig. Anytime you can kind of uh, mix a little pop culture in with the hobby, I think is uh, is great. And then these right here, the little uh, you know uh, leg greave armor. Uh, some uh, I guess this would be upper upper thigh, your hammy armor, don't want to pull a hammy, uh, then your chest armor right there, very tasteful, 
you know, it, it's starting to look just like a like a normal kind of sister right here with all that. And you can see the detail work, you know, everything uh, looks great. I like the helmet. I think the helmet is very well done as well. Uh, you know, just again, just like a normal kind of sister marine. They've got these little uh, exhaust uh, bits that uh, look to go over the, the back exhaust, at least the first uh, front two. Uh, this icon probably goes into the, uh, this is an ion shield, I'm sure. So that icon glues in there, sort of like that. Or you can just put whatever you want in there. Either way, they kind of left it open. Uh, blast shields for the different weapons, looks like a uh, battle cannon and... I guess it's just better. Oh no, I guess that could eh, that could be the Gatler. So Battle Cannon and Gatler doesn't look like, oh, there is a multi melter right there, duh, right in front of my face. And then a grip, a literal grip of different size purity seals. I love these things. They did they did a really good job on them. Just, uh, just the styling and everything. And just giving you so many, you can just like slam them down all over the place and really have some fun with it. So that's what your typical kit's kind of gonna look like. Like they went a little over the top, I feel like with this which is really nice to see with all these little extras here. I mean, those are the knee joints. Um, not every kit kind of comes like that, but you kind of get an idea for the feel to expect from them. And now I want to show you uh, some of the armor actually assembled on, well, semi-assembled <laughs> on an actual night kit. So remember, these are just upgrade kits. Like they're just going to augment uh, the plastic kit you might already have. It's helpful to, you know, already have it maybe partially built, but definitely on the sprue uh, for sure. Now I noticed on their page, they didn't, they didn't have this Colleen on here. It looks a lot better, but I left it on there. I don't know. I'm just... I feel like uh, it just it just feels complete with that with that on there. But you can tell. I mean, all the detail work is just insane. This dark monk and I love these gothic shoulder pads. Like nothing just screams, "Yo, you want gothic? We got you gothic right here." Then these uh these shoulder pads. And then the underneath, you know, the chest plate looks good, the greaves, all of the everything, the hammy plates, the cock plates, uh the weapon weapon armor right there. This one actually comes with uh, extra, it looks like battle cannon. Yep, battle cannon one as well. So, I mean, it all fits on uh, very well from all, every one of these kits for the Questorus kind of class upgrade always goes together very well and it looks uh, it looks very fresh and you, you still got the, uh, the top carapace points right there. So if you need to, uh, you can add the extra weapons. Now, they started doing Dominus class uh, upgrade sort of things too. And the, the only one they sent over was this Custodes one. Unfortunately, I can't find, uh, well, there's no instructions, which usually isn't a big deal because it's just up upgrade bits, but I can't find one of these assembled together and I can't tell if the this goes on top of the uh, plastic care piece or not. I was kind of unsure. I didn't want to start gluing stuff down and be wrong, so I actually didn't. Um, I just left the, the sides off here for the, uh, the Siege Breaker cannons or the, um, the missiles, the Oathbreaker or whatever. Um, but it looks like these go together pretty well, you know, once you get it, once you get it seated in there. I'm not sure if they're going to rotate though. It seems like you just kind of glue them down. Now, what I did like was that they sent the guns, uh, for the Siege Breaker cannons and these bad boys right here. Actually, I think I got it. I think I got it right, right side up. Uh, these actually were perfectly straight, which is really hard to do, you know, in resin and everything. So they came, they came together. They look great. Um, everything looks good. I just couldn't really tell on these instructions. So I just left it off, but everything else went together. You know, I think, I think it's very styling and it definitely kind of creates a different profile. Now this one's the golden armor, obviously a custodies. I, I think it looks great. It's very, it's, it harkens back to the artwork. I feel like from the horse heresy, maybe not the current minis as much, but I definitely like the styling of it. And last but certainly not least is a, uh, a baby knight. <laughs> so this is the Custodes. There's actually two uh, for each armager. They're both 25 bucks each, but there's two different styles. I just kind of picked this one. I think it's called blank armor. Oops, I already knocked the, uh, the shoulders off there. And besides my crappy magnetization job at the, uh, at the waist, the rest of it went together just fine, obviously. Um, so the, the armor is very well done. Uh, it does come with feet. Uh, which are kind of more triangular than uh, than what they have existing there, but I had already glued those together, so it's not going to look quite the same as on the site. And I think the uh, the lower greave armor kind of locks into that differently, but I just kind of blue tacked it on there so it can get removed because. If we don't blue tack it, well, we just have to, you know, buy and put together like a million night models and probably not, probably not worth it for us. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, up here, there was a little bit of uh, kind of grab on the, uh, on the carapace weapon. So I'm not sure like if you would have to trim your plastic or maybe just uh, trim that down a little bit right there. But I did notice that it was kind of, uh, it was kind of touching a little bit, which 
isn't that big of a deal, but I did want to mention it. Everything else uh, locked in pretty good and is, uh, is tight and everything else uh, seems to work just fine. Again, except for my crappy uh, waste magnetization job there. So that's just kind of a brief preview overview of the rest of kind of the designs that are out there right now from uh, Legio Models. You can always check them out over at legiomodels.com. Like I said, just, you know, keep in mind the pricing, 25, uh, 75, hundred dollars shippings, 25 bucks and it goes kind of goes up from there you can i think you can get four kits before it, it goes up to like something like 75 dollars because it does start to you know weigh a lot so uh which kind of makes sense so you know maybe go in with some buddies and pick up a few things or something like that if, if shipping is a problem but other than that i think uh, i think they got some great designs um maybe the only suggestion i have for the future is uh, some instructions <laughs> on some of the bigger kits because uh couldn't i, I didn't want to make any mistakes especially with some of the stuff that we're going to send out to our patreon so that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you happen to have a picture of the uh, the Dominus uh, Gold uh, Knight, let me know because I, I would like to see how it goes together just for my own personal knowledge and growth. Um, check them out, legiomodels.com. And before you go over there, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.